today we are at the William S. Hart Regional Park and I want to go to the Hart Museum and mention so it is an open uh, as of today it says Thursday noon at 3 so I think we should head up there so it's a hike up to the museum and and there's dog food there's dog poop by the dog grave graves so it's a hike up we're not in the best of health but I'm sure by the time we get in there we'll be winning We're almost there at the mansion actually. We just stopped to enjoy the view. And it's not really a good place for pictures of the city. So I don't think I'll take any pictures up here. Maybe once we're inside. But this is discovering our city. And my wife is like dying here. So we took a little rest up. It's cool to discover your own city. I mean, we just moved to the city and we don't really know it. So this is a perfect time to be able to look around, discover, see what it has to offer besides the little bit that we know already. That's the theater that they're building? Yeah, they're building a theater right down the street. So that is La Loma de los Cientos. And we are actually a few feet away from William S. Hart's mansion. So we're trying to find our way through the mansion. It seems to be closed and um, there's no one really around. So we're not sure if it's not open yet. Maybe it's closed today. From the outside, this mansion looks beautiful. It's like a Spanish style house and it's very calm and peaceful out up here. So it's on top of the hill, oversees the city. It's really cool. Uh, I didn't bring an extra camera to videotape as I'm doing the photography, but I am taking a couple images of the scenery here. So that's what I'll share most likely on our Instagram at jflowphoto. So check it out, jflowphoto underscore. And besides that, if we can get in, I'll record inside. If not, I'll just do my best out here. Hello, and welcome to William S. Hart Museum and Men. definitely looks smaller than when you're in there once you're in there it kind of feels very homey it even though it was a six bedroom seven bathroom home it did not feel that big and it de he definitely did a really good job in making it feel very homey in there um, it kind of made me feel like I was a guest and just knowing more about a person that I didn't know about it kind of makes me want to, you know, learn more about him more and watch a movie of his. And according to our tour guide, which he was very helpful and answered all of our questions that we had, um, he was one of the top five um, celebrities in the world. So I'd like to do more research on that. And I had fun. It was definitely cool seeing the home and 
uh, what life was probably like back in the early 1900s so I love that he was a very humble guy and a huge advocate for other races and for animals and that sort of thing so it was nice to see the home it definitely did have that cozy feeling um, and I would recommend coming to visit it it's one of the natural history museums list of like three I believe so um, it's a cool place to come and see he had two Great Danes and a, and a pony horse that he'd welcome inside and he split chocolate with all of them don't feed your dogs chocolate <laughs> but um, yeah they outlived him apparently but definitely sounded like he was a really cool guy would have been awesome to meet a celebrity like that so if you ever plan to come to one of the natural history museums you do not have to make a reservation but you do have to come during tour guide times. Alrighty guys, so I hope that you guys got to enjoy this video just as much as we got to enjoy it. Be sure to like our video, thumbs up, subscribe, and so you could get to watch some more of these kind of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next video.